I've come to the conclusion that you should pretty much always favor type over interface, and here's why. So very quickly, what are the differences between type alias and interface? Well, let's say we have some kind of component, user component, and it takes some props, and we want to describe it with user props, right? So I could use type user props, equal sign, curly braces, and then here you can have the various properties, right? So we're describing an object here, and we could do the same thing with interface. So we could say interface, user props, name, and age, and curly brace. Right, so this looks very similar. Instead of type, you have interface and type has this equal sign, right? I get an error here because I'm using the same identifier twice. Now, sometimes people add for an interface, they add the I in front of the name and for types or type aliases, I should say, people sometimes add a T in front to indicate that it's a type alias, right? And here it's to indicate that it's an interface. Now, these days it's a little bit less common. All right, now very often you have some kind of base type or base interface and you want to extend upon that. So let's say again, we have type user props. It's going to be an object with name, age. And now let's say we also want to have another type, maybe an admin, right? So we're going to have an, an admin component perhaps. And this is going to be very similar to a user because an admin also has a name and age, but now an admin maybe should also get a role, right? But we still want to get the properties from this user props as well. So how do we do that with a type? Well, with a type, you do what's called an intersection. So you do the, the other type, user props, and then you have this ampersand, right? And then you have the additional stuff that you want to add. So here we could add a role. Right? And then for interface, it's called extending. So we could have interface user props name and age and then if we want to extend this you use the extends keyword right so i already get the suggestion from copilot here and this is what you would get right so let me comment this out so we don't get an error right so now it's the same result right so here there's a bit of a difference right so you use user props and then ampersand for type alias for interface you use the extends keyword now in general though they're very similar so on the official documentation website they also mention type aliases and interfaces are very similar and in many cases you can choose between them freely. However, I will take the position that you should pretty much always use type, right? So type alias, because interface comes with some problems. For example, the interface can only describe an object while the type alias can also describe object and everything else, such as primitive values like string, number, and Boolean, right? So if we have, for example, an address variable and we want to type that specifically as um, an address, let's say one, two, three main street, so to implement this type ad address, we can say type address is simply going to be a string, let's say, right? So now I have typed this address variable specifically to be of this type. And this is only possible with a type alias, right? So if I would try doing this with an interface, right? So interface ad uh, address, how would you do that? You cannot do this equal sign, right? So with interface, you don't have an equal sign. You have these curly braces because you're always describing an object with interface, right? So here, if I would do address string, this doesn't work. This is an object with a property address, right? So now we get this error, right? So now this is expecting an object. Now I could turn this into an object, right? So like this, and then as key, you would need address, right? So now I have an object. That's just the first problem with interfaces. You can only describe objects and type alias can describe objects as well, but then also everything else. For example, a type alias can also describe union types and interface cannot. So if we copy this example, so we're saying the address should be of type string, but maybe we also want to allow an array of strings, right? So a user could have multiple addresses. Maybe they moved recently and we want to keep a history of their addresses, right? So we have a string array an array of strings, right? So now our address can be an actual string or an array of strings, right? So we could now turn this into an array of strings as well, right? So now this also works, right? So this is called a union type. You have this or this. You cannot do that with interface, right? So you cannot do something like interface address is string or an array of strings, right? So again, you don't have this equal sign with interface. You have these curly braces, right? So this is only possible with a type alias, right? And this is a big problem because you're going to use a type alias quite often in your uh, apps. All right, now a type alias can also easily use utility types and interface can too, but it's kind of ugly. For example, let's say we have user props again, and that could have a name, an age, and maybe also something like created at, right, to some date. And now maybe we're going to have another component that is going to be, let's say, a, a guest component. So not, not a, a registered user, but just somebody browsing, hasn't registered yet. And here we want to use the same from user props, but without name and age, because the user hasn't registered yet. We don't know about name and age. 
page, but we do know about created ads. Maybe it's just when they first landed on the page, right? So we, we basically want to have the same as this, but we want to omit something. We want to remove something. So TypeScript gives us some utility types. It's called, well, this one is called omit. So we can say omit from user props. We want to remove something essentially. And let's say, right, I could say name, right? So now what we're going to get is basically uh, an object. This is going to be, this is going to describe an object with age, number, and created ads, right? So name has been removed from here, right? I can also remove multiple things like this, right? So now name and age will be removed and this will only have created ads. Now, technically it's possible to do the same with interface. So I could say interface, guest props extends and then you have omit from user props these two and then you have these empty curly braces so technically it works but this is ugly syntax we have the extends keyword and then we have these empty curly braces at the end so this is another reason for preferring type because you can just immediately sort of assign it to guest props here without any keywords without those weird uh, uh, curly braces all right now sometimes you're gonna have to describe tuples so this is basically an array and specifically for example a string and a number in an array. So if we have that address example again, let's say we have some kind of address. Remember, we could have multiple addresses. So maybe we could say something like the first address that the user registered with. So we could say something like one, and that could be one, two, three main street, right? We could, you could have an array, a tuple, as it's called, something like this. Now to describe this as a type, um, we could say it could be a number here and then a string here, right? So this is a tuple. And then we can say, we're going to have an address of type address. And that's going to be, well, let's say, the first address was this and then we could have another one right so the second address is you know some other streets right something like this these tuples are easily described with a type alias and it's the same story as before the interface can technically do the same thing but it's going to be quite ugly syntax right so if you want to do this with an interface it will look something like this so interface address extends extends an array with a number and string and then you have these index right so at index zero you're going to have a number at index one you're going to have a string right it technically works the same way but but this is much cleaner syntax with the type, right? So that's another reason to use type, right? So at this point, I've already shown you four good reasons to use type, right? So we can describe primitive values such as string, number, and Boolean, right? You cannot do that with an interface. We can also use type to describe union types, not possible with interface. We can also uh, easily use these utility types that we get from TypeScript and it's clean syntax. Interface can do the same, but it's gonna be ugly syntax. And then we also have these tuples sometimes very easily done with uh, the type alias and awkward possible with interface. So these are quite common things, especially uh, omit, for example, these utility types, as well as union types. These are quite common. So it's pretty much guaranteed that you're going to use a type alias in your code. And since you're already going to use a type alias, why not just use a type alias everywhere for consistency? Now, there's another really good reason to prefer type alias over interface and that's this one it's when you want to extract a type from something else so let's say we have some kind of project object this project could have a title let's say project project one and then it could have a nested object so maybe some kind of specification right maybe an area size and a number of rooms right so here we have a specification inside a project and now we want to have a type for specification right? so we can simply say type specification and then what you can do in in TypeScript is you can say type of project. If you do type of project and now hover specification, you can see it, in, it simply infers the shape of this variable, right? So we have title, string, specification, area size, rooms. These are numbers. Now what we want is we, we want to create a type out of this specification object. So what you can do is you can be more specific. You can say pull out this specification object, right? So now when you hover specification, you can see it has pulled out uh, this object of area size and rooms. Now technically possible with interface as well, but you have to use extends and the interface just doesn't look as clean as this, where you can just immediately sort of assign something to a new type. I think this equal sign is simply something that we are used to as JavaScript developers. We're, we're more used to this because we do a lot of this assignment to variables, right? So we have a variable and you assign something to it. So this syntax to us as JavaScript developers just feels a bit cleaner. Now as a side note, if we hover this, you can see that TypeScript has inferred this to be to, 
these to be numbers, right? So area size, number, rooms, number. What if we know it's always going to be 103 here? So a very cool trick that you can do here in TypeScript is you can, you can add, you can be more precise than that. You can say as const. So literally, it's going to be this. Now, if you hover this, you can see it infers this to be literally the number 100, not just any number, right? We can be more specific than that. It's always going to be the number 100, always going to be number three, right? That's just a side note. Uh, this as const trick is actually really helpful. So I just wanted to show you that, right? So technically possible with interfaces, but I think it just looks cleaner with type. All right, so here's another good reason to prefer type. So these interfaces, they can be merged as it's called. So what that means is if you have an interface for user with name, string, age, number, now what you could do is you can have, you can sort of declare it again. You can say interface user, and now you can say role string. And now what's going to happen is if you use that type, right, let's say we have some kind of user of type user, and let's see what we can use here. So the IntelliSense shows us that we can use age, name, and role. So what happens here is basically that it, it has merged, TypeScript has merged these into one interface, right? So the, the, the good use case for this is maybe you are getting some interface from a third party library and it doesn't contain something that you want. So you can sort of add that yourself by redeclaring it. But it's very confusing because you can have multiple declarations of this with the same identifier now throughout your code base. That's really confusing. But the bigger problem is now when I use user here and I try to use IntelliSense here, I know right now what I can use here, but this can change. At any moment, somebody else could change this, right? Especially if you work in a team, big project, somebody else could change this. So now I don't really know what this is going to be. It's unpredictable. And when something is unpredictable in your code, bad things happen, generally speaking. If you try doing that with a type, right? So if you have already created a type user and you try doing that again, type user, let me comment this out for now, right? So now TypeScript, the TypeScript compiler is giving us an error, right? Duplicate identifier user, right? So this is also called interfaces are open because you can sort of redeclare them and they will be merged and type aliases are closed. So you cannot just redeclare them and add something like that. Now, if you want to add something, you can still do that, but you have to give it a different identifier here, right? So you have to call it user2, let's say, and it's just going to be uh, an intersection, right? So here you would say it's going to be user and this additional stuff, right? So now that would work the same way, but it's more predictable now because now this, this won't suddenly change. Right? I do have to change the name here now, right? So now I get H name and role again, but it's much more predictable. I know what I'm getting and it reduces the opportunity for bugs and unintended stuff happening in our code base. All right, now some people think that you have to use an interface for classes. We don't write many classes these days, especially if you're a React developer, but sometimes you come across it, right? So with classes, you can, for TypeScript, you can make sure it adheres to some interface. So you can use implement and maybe we use the I in front of it, just to be clear here, I user, and we could have a name, an age, and then we construct this, right? So then you could have an interface, interface, I user, and that could be something like this, right? So now we're sort of, we're forcing the class to implement this shape and that's not necessary, right? So this also works with type, right? So you can simply use type and let's make it T user now and add the equal sign. And now if you make this T user, this works perfectly fine, right? So type alias works with class and implements as well. All right, now, of course, type is simply fewer characters as well, right? Type is four and interface is, is nine, nine characters. All right, now I saved the best argument for the last. It's called type script, not interface script. All right, so there are there no good reasons to use interface at all? Well, there are some very specific use cases. So on the official website, they do mention that with interface, you get some shorter and more focused error messages when you work with interfaces. So here the owl is a type alias, and this is the error message example that they give us. And then with chicken, this is implemented with an interface and you get a shorter message here, more precise. That's one reason for using interface. Now, or you really need that merging feature of interfaces, right? Maybe you're developing an, you know, a library and there are some specific use case where this makes sense. In the past, performance was also a reason to use interface. So if you had a huge code base, interface was maybe a little bit faster than type the type alias, but these days that doesn't seem to be any difference in performance. All right, now TypeScript can be quite difficult to learn. And in my React and Next.js course, I will also cover TypeScript and specifically in the context of React and Next.js. So if you're interested in that, make sure you get on the email list so you'll be notified and you'll get a discount code when I release that course. Now, I do want to say, I see a lot of developers, they jump into React without really having mastered the fundamentals like JavaScript and CSS. And if you want to be a professional developer, it's really important that you have mastered those fundamentals. Also CSS, for example, just to pick up something like Tailwind very quickly. So I have courses on both JavaScript 
script as well as CSS. I highly recommend you check them out. The links are in the description. If you learned something from this video, I really appreciate it if you could leave a like and subscribe with the notification bell on. And then thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.